I'm Jason Ander of Mitco Sports, and I hand out game balls. This week, we're going to go through some of the most alarming achievements of week two as we highlight the top performers. We begin in Harrisburg, where the triple tiger threat of Jacob Knuth, Lincoln Carlson, and Gavin Ross didn't disappoint. Oh, look at those numbers. Carlson went over 100 yards receiving with two scores. Ross and that nasty Harrisburg offensive line collected 10 yards per carry to go over 200 yards, and Jacob Knuth was dude perfect. Six TDs on the day, four through the air, two more rushing. The Tigers beat the number one team in 11 AA 56 to 20. Joey Cole of winner did a little bit of everything in their 44 nothing win over number two Bridgewater Emory Ethan. He threw for a touchdown, rushed for three more, and had a big night on defense with two sacks and two tackles for loss. Stratton Eppard is having an outstanding start to his senior season. He went 13 of 19 for 262 yards and four touchdowns and rushed for 156 and two more touchdowns. His favorite target, Jovi Wolf, caught three balls, took two of those to the house for a huge night. Reese Kirschman did not disappoint on either side of the ball in T areas. Big 47-21 win over Brookings. Four tackles for loss, including three sacks and a forced fumble for the junior play record. Sioux Valley's Parker Pitts went over the century mark throwing and rushing for over 100 yards as his Cossacks found a way to beat a top five team on the road. Ben Altoff showed up in a big way on defense. The Watertown senior had 19, count them, 19 tackles, three for loss, and a fumble recovery in the Arrows. Big win over Sturgis on Saturday. Isaiah Young went the length of the field twice. He totaled 221 yards rushing in Sioux Falls Christian's 42-7 win over Belfouche. Grayson Hansen of Platt Geddes has game ball worthy numbers on both offense and defense, but he did them both. He ran for 190 yards and four touchdowns and had a 10 tackle game with a tackle for loss, a forced fumble on defense in their 66-16 win over White River. Phillip shut out Faith on Friday, 48 to nothing. They were led by their quarterback, Jason Schofield. He was dialed in with 211 yards passing and three touchdowns, and he ran another one in. So how do you pick the best performance out of that crazy collection of talent? Well, I'm going to go with the tiebreaker, and I'm going to go with the most dramatic win of the week, and that came when Lennox was down by 13 points with six minutes on the clock and Stephen Christian came to play. Lennox fought all the way back, and with 39 seconds left, Brayden Wolf hit Stephen Christian for the game-winning 52-yard touchdown. Christian ended up with six catches, 172 yards, and two touchdowns. And we're thinking about everyone in Lennox who was hit hard by the storms on Saturday. Hopefully, this gives you something to smile about. Keep on balling, Stephen.